Peixes. Leon. <sighs> this bullet wound isn't making things any easier. Quiet, Leon. I'll patch you up. That's two I owe you. Don't mention it. I just found out. John's dead. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. Alright, so Ada Wong has patched us up, which is good. And I like it how on Leon's character you can see the bandages on him, which looks really cool. I love that they've added that. We'll quickly go up here, grab the eagle emblem. Okay. And there's just a document there. If you remember, we put the wolf emblem in that little puzzle where there was the waterfall. Okay. We need the eagle emblem for that puzzle as well. Once we put it in, the waterfall will shut off and we'll be able to go through. So that is the next step. For here, we'll use the valve to turn off the fan so that we can go up the ladder there and go through. And we are basically done here, okay? There is nothing left to do in the sewers. Once we use that eagle emblem, we are out of here, okay? And the next area is the underground laboratory. Fuck, every Resident Evil game finishes off in an underground laboratory. It's insane. Alright, so this is the hardest part of the game coming up. Alright, once we get to the laboratory, I will use my first save just before we arrive there, more specifically, just before we take on William Birkin, okay? So we've got a sub-boss fight coming up fairly soon where we have to take care of him, okay? The crazy freak that injected the G-Virus in himself, alright? But here we'll just use the Eagle Emblem, complete that puzzle. If you remember in the previous video, we already put the Wolf Medal in there. So by putting both medals in, we will shut off the waterfall, the light goes blue, and we can now go through the door. So William Birkin is relatively easy, okay? I'll be using the Magnum on him as Leon. With Claire, I use the Grenade Launcher. On the A scenarios, I believe he's a lot easier to take care of, okay? As opposed to the B scenarios. Because from memory, in the B scenarios, William Birkin will jump all over the place, okay? So it's it's quite difficult to gain distance from him when you're fighting him in the B scenarios, okay? But for the A scenarios here, you know, Leon A scenario, he doesn't jump at all, okay? You can freely run away from him, gain as much distance as you need, turn around and fire your Magnum at him or grenade launcher with clear, okay? But for now, he makes a little appearance, okay, in this tram. So he's on top, punching holes through the roof, alright? When he does so, just run away and shoot at his arm. You'll be able to tell where he's going to punch through. You can see a bit of dust coming from the roof, okay? So if I stand here, there you go. You see the dust? Run away. Fire at the arm, okay? Stand still, you'll see the dust. There we go, run away shoot and rinse and repeat okay so really easy and that's basically it I believe all right so the tram has stopped and we can leave and before you progress, okay, turn around, come back this way first, run to the corner, press the use button, you'll pick up a key, okay? Now how did I know a key was there? Well basically, just to the left of it, there is a flare launcher. You can light that using Leon's lighter. Once you do, it will shoot a flare, the whole area will be very bright, okay, and you will see a flashing item in the corner there, okay? So that's how I knew that key was there. If you're playing with Claire, alright, you probably won't have the lighter in your inventory at this point, alright? 
don't worry about it, you do not need the lighter, you do not need to light that flare. All you need to do is run to the corner, press the use button and you will pick up that key, okay? And I'll explain what that key does in a minute, but for now, we've just located the upgradable shotgun parts for Leon's shotgun, which are fucking awesome, okay? I love the upgraded shotgun, it's just so powerful and my god, it feels so good to fire it. But you know, as is standard, like I mentioned in one of the previous videos, do not combine the shotgun with the upgradable parts just yet, okay? Wait till you've depleted all ammo in your shotgun and then combine it, okay? By doing so, it will give you a full clip of ammunition, alright? Now, that key we just picked up before, next to the flare, what does it do? Well, basically it opens a locker in the laboratory area. Oh my fucking god, that zombie grabbed me. Yeah, inside the locker are upgradable parts for the Magnum, okay? So do not forget that key. By upgrading the Magnum, it makes the final boss fight much, much easier, okay? Because for that boss fight, I have no strategy except brute force, okay? I don't even move when I fight that boss. I just stand there, pointing my upgraded Magnum at it, and I just shoot bullet after bullet after bullet until that fucker drops, okay? <laughs> it's just such a bullshit fight, okay? It's got two forms. For the first form, it just sort of walks around really slowly, you know, and it only takes about four or five Magnum bullets to go down, but then it will morph into this fucking dog type creature and start jumping all over the place. It is impossible to gain distance on it, and even when you do, you know, it jumps right next to you and swipes at you. It's just fucking bullshit. So, my strategy for that is, you know, just fucking stand still and just fire the upgradable magnum until it drops like a bag of shit, okay? But here we are. This is actually the room where I will make my first and only save. Because once we leave this room and get on the tram to go down to the underground laboratory that's going to trigger the sub boss fight with William Birkin okay and on previous playthroughs I have actually died on him all right but now that I've done multiple playthroughs I'm a lot more comfortable at taking care of him and probably didn't even need to save at this point because it's it's an easy fight okay you just use the magnum you run away from him until you've got a bit of distance, turn around and shoot. Actually, you know what? That's the thing that shits me about this game and Resident Evil 1, okay? There's no quick turn yet. I believe that was introduced in Resident Evil 3. But in Resident Evil 1 and 2, you can't just, you know, tap back and the run button to do a quick 180 degree turn, okay? That took a little bit of adjusting for me to get used to in these old school Resident Evil games, okay, because I I use that a hell of a lot, you know. Especially in Resident Evil 4, fuck I was using that so much. And to not have that here was quite it took a bit of getting used to, but but now I'm used to it, okay. But what I'm trying to say is for that for the boss fight coming up against William Burke and okay, you gotta run, get distance from him, okay? And it would have been nice once you have gained distance to just do a quick turn and start shooting alright but you have to just hold left on the d-pad you know and slowly do a 180 degree turn and then shoot and it all wastes time you know what I mean so by the time you've actually done a 180 degree turn William Birkin has gained a little bit of ground on you so you don't have much time to fire off shots okay you can only really fire off one or two shots before you have to start running again and gain more distance from him, alright? Whereas if they had the quick turn, you could probably get three or four shots off him easily, alright? But we just ran in the tram there, grabbed the key from the driver's cabin, which we need to use on the control panel outside here to fire it up. So we will do that now, and once we've done that, we can get in the tram and it will take us down to the underground laboratory area alright but halfway down it's gonna stop thanks to William Birkin alright so that's coming up now here we go Ada! 
Ada, can you hear me? Come on, snap out of it! Alright, so Ada just got fucked up there by Birkin. And to start the fight, we head outside. Alright, and the tram won't move until we've taken care of this threat, aka Birkin. Here we go. Fucking ugly fucker. Just run a little bit to get him to appear. <laughs> Just throws a fucking metal pole at you. He transforms into a fucking weird alien looking creature. There's that eyeball on his arm. Damn, that is one ugly motherfucker. Alright. So he's jumped down now, and all he will do is walk slowly like this, okay? So all you really need to do is just run, gain distance, turn around, shoot, rinse, and repeat, okay? The only hard part of this fight is the bad camera angles, okay? So, so there you can't really... You know, I just got hit because I couldn't judge how far away he was from me due to the fucked up camera angle. Alright, so that's that's another thing you're battle on, battling on this fight, you know, not only William Birkin, but the terrible camera angles. And you do not want to get hit by his attacks, okay, because sometimes he can just unleash a barrage of attacks non-stop, you know, three or four attacks consecutively. Possibly there's even a grab move from memory, I can't remember, I know there is for the last boss though. Grab moves are very fucking dangerous. Oh, here you go. When you see him stagger like that, just keep pumping him, okay? Do not stop. Just keep going. He'll only take another three or four shots, okay? But that's it, you know? That's not hard at all, alright? I did get hit. You know, he swiped me twice, two or three times there. But that was just because of the bad camera angle, okay? I couldn't really tell how far away he was from me. So if you're ever in a bad camera angle situation like that, either just keep going until you've got a better camera angle, or run a bit further than you normally would before you start firing, okay? But here we go. Don't die on me, Ada. Come on! Wake up! Come on! Welcome back. Uh. Hey, take it easy. We're inside Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find something to treat that wound, so just rest here in the meantime. But... I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go. Save yourself. I told you, it's my job to look after you. But... You'll be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you for a short period of time, but I really enjoy being with you. I... I know I'm not capable of caring about anyone, but I don't want to lose you. We're leaving this place together. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. So you can see some kind of bond forming between Leon and Ada, obviously. But anyway... This is the final area we are in now, the underground laboratory. There is not much longer to go, okay, we are almost done now. Just pick up a few items that are in this room here before you head on out. I've got a shitload of herbs there in my stash. I'm fucking ready for anything. Look at, look at all that shit, my god. That's overkill. And there's still going to be heaps of herbs in this underground area to pick up as well. Make sure you've still got some blue herbs left over because there are going to be some enemies that we'll encounter down here that inflict poison damage. Not spiders. They're these plant creatures. They're fucking weird. They spit acid at you, okay? But, you know, as is the case whenever you've got enemies that inflict poison damage around, there's usually a blue 
herb planter nearby, or at least a couple of blue herbs to pick up. So it's no big deal, alright? So here we've just got to charge this power fuse generator, whatever the fuck it is in the middle there, okay? We don't even need to go this way. I'm just going to show you what's here, okay? It's just a room you can go in. And there'll be some items to collect. Shotgun ammo, alright? It's totally pointless for me to even go here, you know, and pick up that ammo because I have more than enough ammo already to finish the rest of the game, alright? Now there's the location of the flamethrower. Now I didn't pick it up, alright? Because I wasn't sure if the flamethrower is considered a special weapon and I didn't want it to fuck up my chance of getting an A rank, okay? Because you cannot use, quote, special weapons, unquote. Alright, if you do you will not get an A rank, so that's why I just left it there, alright, it is totally unnecessary to pick up anyway, you know, finish the game, it might actually be handy on the final boss, I'm not sure, okay, I've never actually used it against him, I've just, you know, just used the magnum to take care of him, but anyway, we jump down here, be careful, there's always two liquors, oh my god, listen to that, fuck, that is a powerful... I love the upgraded shotgun, my god, it's just fucking awesome. Bang! Fuck yeah. So those liquors, you know, you notice that they're a bit darker than the regular liquors. In the underground laboratory area, enemies are a little bit tougher, okay, and that's why they're a darker colour, okay, to, to give you that indication that you are fighting tougher enemies. Alright. So normally they'd only take two shotgun blasts to take down, but those liquors took three, okay, because they are the tougher versions. So that's all that's there, alright? I mean, we need to go back that way a bit later, but that whole process was just totally pointless. All I did was pick up a bit of shotgun ammo. I mean, you need to go there to read the document, you know, and get a password for some computer that we're going to come up to a bit later. but. You know, if you're like me and you're just getting through the game for the sole purpose of getting an A rank or whatever, you don't need to actually go there at all. This is where we need to, we do need to go, okay? Pick up the fuse case here, run over to here and use it. Oops, wasn't in the right spot. There we go. And this little machine, I believe, will actually create a fuse out of that fuse case, okay? which we go and put in the generator in the middle and power up this whole area and by doing so it'll unlock some doors for us so I think this is called the fuse, yeah the main fuse, there it is so we'll get straight out of here now and run back to the generator in the middle and whack it in, okay? so we are coming up to the home stretch now we are almost done. There is not a whole lot left to do. So this run through has been relatively short, you know, I think I clock in at just over two hours. Which is pretty good, you know. That's actually what amazes me about these old school Resident Evil games, you know. The first run through will be your longest. You can clock in anywhere between 5, 10, 15, 20 hours. But, you know, once you fine tune that, and you start doing multiple runs, you can fucking clock in at two hours or under easily. It's just amazing, you know. But anyway, we've unlocked these doors now because they have power to them. And as soon as you open that one, there's a couple of these plant enemies. Straight away, I don't waste time, I just start firing. It tried to spit on me there, but it was very lucky. Okay. So those plants, they take about three blasts with the shotgun to go down. They will spit acid at you. Alright. So, <laughs> there is a bit of a strategy for taking them down. They are really slow, so this one here, I'm just going to brute force the shit out of it, okay? Three blasts before it can even turn around and look at me. But for those two I just fought there, okay? Dare I say it, that is the one instance in which Claire is actually good. Because with a grenade launch up, you can run far away and shoot from a nice distance, okay? So their spit attack won't reach you. 
and you can just fire off grenade launcher rounds at them and take care of them like that, okay? But with Leon, you know, with the shotgun, you've got to get a little bit closer, and you're always in range of the spit, so just maybe carry a blue herb. Oh, fuck, here we go. We've got liquors and shit everywhere here. Combine that and create a full healing item. Might hold off the healing now, I'm only on the portion. Alright. I know there's another one out there, but I have to progress. You can hear it. Fucking you. Alright. Healing now, this is bullshit. Run, run, run. Quick turn. Oh, that would be nice. Bang! One more. Fuck off. There we go. God, that shotgun is such a nice weapon. Upgraded shotgun. Beautiful. So they were the tougher versions of the liquors, okay? They're the darker colour, as you can see. A lot of fucking herbs to pick up here. And for good reason, I guess, as well. There was three liquors. So I guess, you know, if you come down here without taking any herbs... Alright, don't worry too much because there will be a few. But you'll have to battle your way through three liquors before you can get to them. So we'll run through here now. There's a map of the area on the computer just to the right. No point in me really picking it up, but that's where it is anyway, just in case you need to know where to go. We'll go through here. And this is basically where we get the key card. Alright as well as the upgradable parts for the magnum oh there's a red herb here that's nice get myself another full healing item <laughs> bring my total number of herbs to fucking like 10 full healing items oh okay what up okay now this is interesting all right i've read online that if you create a full healing item by mixing green with blue and then adding the red to it after that you will create an insane herb, okay? Oh, there we go. That's where you get the upgradable parts for the Magnum, okay? Just use that key on the locker there. And I'm just going a bit crazy at the moment with the Magnum, okay? Fuck, it's nice shooting zombies with the Magnum. It just blasts their fucking heads off. It's awesome. But I'm just going crazy with it because, you know, like I said, once you combine the upgradable parts with the gun, the Magnum, all right, you will get a full clip of ammo. Now, as I was saying just before, all right, about that crazy herb, first you mix a green with a blue, okay, and then you mix that with a red. Now, apparently, this is called a super herb, and when you take it, it supposedly gives you invulnerability for a limited amount of time, okay, so it makes you invincible. Honestly, I can't confirm if it's true or not. I think I go ahead and use it for the final boss. Alright, towards the end of this video. But, you know, I honestly, I wouldn't rely on it, okay? Just stick with your green and reds. You know, your, your three greens mixed together and you'll be fine. And here we are at the computer here. To gain access to the culture experiment room. Alright, the password is guest. And if you notice just before, I had to shotgun those bugs off the desk, okay, the keyboard. If you try and use the computer while there's bugs crawling around on the keyboard, Leon will say something like, I can't reach, you know, can't reach the keyboard. So you've got to blast those bugs first, you know, fuck them off. Then you can go ahead and use the computer. Alright, so we've got the key card now. We're going to head back upstairs. Do a bit of backtracking. Run through this long corridor here. There's never any enemies. Alright. Looking sweet item wise. For now. When we go back through this door here, okay, there will be another liquor. That will spawn. Be prepared for that, okay? There he is, yep. Fucking knew that shit was gonna happen. Bullshit! Fuck off. Well, he only took two shots there. That was a bit strange. I guess it's dependent on how close you are when you fire the shotgun. I guess I was really, really close there because he did get a swipe in. 
at me. That was fucking bullshit. Don't know how that happened. Anyway, we'll head back up. And we'll use the key card on one of the doors up here. Inside that door will be the MO disc, okay? The MO disc is the final item that we need in order to progress. Oh shit, there's got another fucking plant there. Forgot about that. Just run past it, okay? They are really slow, okay? So if you're. If they have their back facing towards you, okay, they've got to slowly, slowly turn around until, you know, they face you and then they'll start spitting at you. If you run directly into them, they will grab you, okay, and shower you with acid. So do not run straight into them, okay? You will more than likely be poisoned from that attack, okay? Anyway, there's the door we use the key card on. We can discard it. Free up an inventory slot. Should be some magnum ammo there. Beautiful. First aid spray will ignore that. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Love the shotgun. Some more zombies. Oh shit. The fucking blast is so powerful. It's sending Leon back. Back into the previous camera angle. You see that shit? Fucking hell. That's insane. Turn on the light switch so we can see what's going on over here. Alright, and flashing on that table will be the MO disc. So we'll take that and get the fuck out of here. And basically make our way down to the bottom where we use that MO disc on a door to go through. You. You murdered my husband. I know what you're looking for. You came for the T virus, didn't you? from me. This is my husband's legacy. Now, where's that spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about. What? You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> You're so gullible. She's one of the operatives sent here by the agency. The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. That's a lie. No, it's the truth. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about Umbrella. That can't be. I know her. Ada wouldn't do something like that. If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. You're about to die anyway. What happened? The self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat, the self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. Alright, so, we have the G-Virus. And was Ada Wong the person who we thought she was? We'll find out. But we'll make our way back down to the bottom. Leon. I've been waiting for you, Leon. Wh what are you doing? You know what this is about. So just hand over the G-Virus. I don't believe this. Annette was right. About everything. That's why I told you to leave without me, but you wouldn't listen. Now hand it over. Don't make me shoot you. You can't. Ada! Ada! I've got you! Don't give up! G. G. Viper. Leon. It's over. Just let me go. Shut up! You're gonna make it! It's. I promise you that we would escape. You just...
just have to help me out here. I really wanted to escape with you, Leon. Escape from everything. Goodbye. Ada! There we go, quite a powerful scene there, you know, emotionally powerful because we knew Leon was fond of Ada and vice versa, okay, and now he has dropped her to her death or seemingly to, oh you fucking asshole, god damn it, I'm gonna be fucking poisoned, hopefully, oh that's very lucky, okay, very lucky. Nine times out of ten, that shit will poison you, so... Fucking hell. Bullshit. Yeah, so, you know... I don't know how Ada Wong comes back to life, because... I haven't played Resident Evil 3 yet, so maybe she makes an appearance in that, I don't know. I know in Resident Evil 4, she was there. Okay, I don't know how she came back to life. To me, after watching that, she's dead, okay? She's fallen to her death, she was shot fuck off zombie you know so she's dead to me now these fucking zombies I believe are a lot more powerful than the standard ones okay I've actually died by these guys on previous run throughs only after a couple of grabs you know they grabbed me like two or three times and then I've died and that was from full health or at least close to full health okay so that's bullshit, just be careful of those zombies. Just use the ammo disc there to open that door. Before we go through and face the final boss, I'm going to go over here, run along this corridor and go to my stash, okay? Get myself set up, get all the herbs out that I need. Alright, reload all my weapons. Okay, so... I probably only need, what have I got, 8 magnum rounds plus another 8 in the clip there. That's probably all I need, but I'll take the shotgun just as a backup as well. Oh, I've got another fucking 12 bullets there, holy shit, that's insane. Fuck, that's all I'm going to need. I might still just take the shotgun anyway. Make sure before going into this fight you're on full health, so I just used a single green herb there. Just to be extra safe because when the final boss is in its dog form it has an attack where it grabs you and it will just shake you around okay and just keep biting you and eventually it does let go all right but that is a very very damaging attack okay and there's been times where I've been on full health okay fine completely maxed out health and that attack has brought me into the danger state straight away that's fucking bullshit okay be very very careful of that attack there was actually one time I couldn't even recover Leon just fucking held his stomach and you know I was shaking the controller I was pressing buttons and he just wouldn't stand up I, I had no control over him the boss got another attack on me and I fucking died that was just such bullshit I was so angry because my last save wasn't for you know I only saved the game once at that exact same point I did for this walkthrough so I had to fucking do all this shit again my god so frustrating but here we go brute force to brute oh you fucking asshole always check okay how much health you've got after it attacks you oh my god only three shots all right so three shots to take it down in its first form, and now it's going to walk into that fucked up dog creature. Okay, I hate this shit. It's just going to jump all over the place, okay? I'm just going to stand still, 
and just keep firing at it, okay? I'm not even gonna fucking move. Make sure you reload, because you don't want to have to manually reload. See that, that shit there, okay? You watch, I'm gonna probably be on danger now. Let me check. Yep, see? Such fucking bullshit, alright? So, two, three, four, five, six, come on, seven, alright. And that's it, guys, okay? That is all you need to do to take care of this boss. With Leon, okay, it's just fucking brute force with the Magnum gun. Always check your health after it attacks you every single time, okay? Just to be safe. Especially after that grab attack, okay? You saw just then, I went from fine health into the danger state after that grab attack, okay? Such fucking bullshit. I think it did hit me once before it slashed me, so that probably didn't help either. Fucking hell. So we'll run over here and we'll get a cutscene. Alright, so, there we go guys, that's the end of Leon's A scenario in Resident Evil 2. There are three more scenarios to go, okay? Clear B, Clear A, and Leon B, alright? So that was the first of four sets of walkthroughs that I'll be doing for this game. I always find playing as Leon a hell of a lot easier and just more fun in general because like I've said many times in these walkthrough videos Leon's weapon arsenal is just so much fucking better than Claire's okay this is just such an awesome game as well this is this is a game that definitely 100% needs a remake okay with updated graphics and all that type of shit like they did with the first one for the Nintendo Wii which I haven't played but fuck, I would really like to because I've heard so many good things about it, but yeah, you know, it'd just be awesome if they remade this. Resident Evil Revelations is coming out soon for the Xbox 360 and PS3. Really looking forward to that. I've also heard a lot of good things about that game. It shits me that it came out for the Nintendo DS initially. Like, fucking hell, you know. And, and for the Nintendo Wii, like, why does the Nintendo get these great survival horror games. I don't understand it, you know? And the Xbox 360 and PS3, which is the majority of what people have, just get left in the dark. Fuck, it's just, it just shits me, you know, because you know, I don't want to say this, but to me, the Nintendo Wii is for kids, you know? It's jumping around and, you know, when I think of the Nintendo Wii, I think of jumping around in front of your TV, playing Wii Sports and, and Mario and all that gay shit, which which I loved when I was a kid, you know, I grew up with playing Super Nintendo games like Donkey Kong Country, Super Mario and all that, but now I don't want to play that shit, I want to play good survival horror games, and it really burns me when I see them coming out for the Nintendo Wii and the Nintendo DS. <sighs> I don't understand the mindset, you know, that goes behind developing these games and, and what systems they release them for. But anyway, that is the end of this walkthrough. There you go, Resident Evil 2. And it should bring up my results screen in a second. 
where you can see I obtain the A rank and also unlock the unlimited rocket launcher all right which I get for completing an A scenario game in under three hours with either an A or B rank and there's my A rank Leon A two hours four minutes nine seconds one save done and dusted Alright, so that's it guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next set of walkthroughs.